Okay, we got jocks that want to buy our product. Let's back out real quick. Boo, boo, fo, bo, bo, fo, show. <laughs> I'm gonna keep saying boo. I don't know why. I think it just am. But what's up, man? Thanks so much for the prime sub. I appreciate it. Super lemon haze. Hell yeah. We have to gather $7,500 for this milestone. Uh, do we want to do another dealer spot? One or more of your... You or one of your employees will deal weed here. Way of selling weed that requires being invisible and available at the same time. So we only have us. So having another dealer spot may not be worth it. I don't think. Spending the money on that. We're still good here. They want rare quality. We're still common. They're buying it from us because we're the only ones. But when we get competition, we're going to have to do better than that. That's why competition is good, kids. What? Ah, I keep I keep backing out of that. But once you once you press the button, you have to continue. So these are going to be a little bit more runty. Let's grab or gather some product here. There we go. This one's getting close. Hit this. Hit it again. Hit this. Hit it again. Hit this. Ah, that's groovy. That's that's a good pattern. I like that. Uh. Yeah. Right there. Uh. <laughs> I like that. It's like water. Clip it. Water it again. I love it. It's a good pattern. It's nice. It's therapeutic, really. Feels good to get that right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like that. You get in a groove. You get this pattern where it's... It's, it's working out really well. Your timings are good, you know? I'm just gonna try to take care of the plants and then I go sell. How about that? Yeah, that feels good. All right, let's go sell some stuff. Watching your streams is like doing night shift for me. Is that a good thing? Do you like the night shift? Now I have to know if you like the night shift. <laughs> Otherwise, it's like, oh no. <laughs> Who likes the night shift? Train it up. I like how it just sways the plants when you when you nail the timing. So we can see this little red bar at the top here. This is our, uh, I guess, police attention that we're gathering, I guess. Also, if you're watching this later on YouTube, this little bar right here that you see at the top of the HP, this is purely something for the stream. It has nothing to do with the game. Um, this is a lot. This is recorded live, so uh, there will be a there's an element on the screen that's pertaining only to the live audience and not part of the game. That's what that is up there. It has to do with. It's sort of like a way to notify or not notify, a, a way to recognize those who are helping to support the channel. So. Hype boss, there you go, yeah. I've had that question asked a couple of times on YouTube videos, so I thought I'd, if I say it in the video, maybe that will prevent the question, because I imagine this game might draw new people that don't normally, you know. It's not really a new genre per se. We can expand our activity if we want to. 3,500, is it right time to do that? I don't know if it's the right time to do that. We don't currently have anybody we probably should hit up, hit one of our milestones before we do that. Let's sell some more. Let's get back in our grow room. I am much more product focused than I am uh, sales focused though, for sure. And I do find it helpful, too far. I do find it helpful to slow down to one time speed as far as quality goes, because this, like, while you're holding this down, basically, the one, two, three count count of holding this down is the same, regardless of what speed you're at. But everything is progressing at that more advanced speed. So you can, I think you can more specifically time your, do your timings. The only weird part about the game right now, I'm finding this really strange, is that increasing time, what do you think the hotkey is for that? Like, as a gamer who, who plays games, right? Like, what would you think the hotkey is for the time? Like, 
one times speed, two times three, three times speed, right? You would probably think the hotkeys for that is one, two, and three. And spacebar does pause, but one, two, and three are not how you do that. It's actually Q and A. Q increases the speed, A decreases the speed. Because one, two, and three are hotkeys for other menus. So it's like, it's kind of weird. You have to get used to that. Okay, we got the 7,500. That's done. Help is on the way. Yo, what's up, my dude? The game's looking pretty good so far. I kind of like it. Um, help on the way. You thought business was all about managing the work of others, not sweating your own personal ass off. My, how them tables do turn. Still, it feels good to see the fruits of our labor, of our honest labor, even if it is illegal. $250 and just a little bit more influence. Northern Lights. So we have new strains available to us. Now we have to buy these strains. So we might want to make sure that they're a good one to sell in our local markets before we put the money into them. So I'm not entirely sure this is necessary, but this offers pain relief. So it could be used for medicinal purposes. It also uh, helps people space out if they want to. And it has this earthly feel. Now, I know that the vagrants like things that are earthy because we've seen that research already. We've, we've seen them comment about earthy already. And this is called uh, Northern Lights' NL. We also have something called Granddaddy Purple. Uh, it has It's a sweet taste. Offers for spacing out. Also helps with pain relief. And relaxes the body. If you're all tensed out, Granddaddy Purple might help you out but that's really expensive as a strain so i don't know if i want those yet hate to tell you this babies but you got worry word on the street is that sean's bunch is slowly lurking in around the city they might soon decide to start selling in our backyard and they're sure to blow away you blow you away on quality hmm all right what do you how do we dispose of them <laughs> what are we gonna need some muscle Easy there, Scarface. Scratch the invisible hand and it just might slice you up. Why not? Why make angry enemies if you can have demoralized losers? That's good. So what do we do? You'll never move any flour if those guys will be uh, selling better stuff right next to you. You gotta get your stash up to uncommon quality at least. That should do the trick. Okay, increase quality. How? How can I increase the quality of our weed? You gotta get your NPK on. Quality is all about soil nutrition, balancing your nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium levels. I remember that for Super Lemon Haze, I was using a seven nitrogen and one phosphorus, but I can never get the potassium dialed in. Play around with it and you'll figure out what works. Okay, cool. So now we've unlocked new elements to the game and that's sort of dealing with the chemical side of things, right? So we can kind of go in here and see what's up. Uh, so what, we, what it wants us to do is click this. Wants us to go to this tab, and we need to set our nitrogen levels, phosphorus, and potassium levels. So, he said nitrogen was at 7, and phosphorus was at 1. But apply it to all. He said we couldn't get the potassium levels dialed in, so we probably want to move this a little bit too. So, I'm going to shift this down to 3 and see what that does. So, this will be applied to all plants. So this one here has the same levels. We have this in all plants, right? Now, if we have research, we can also study the optimal conditions, but we don't have any research points yet. That's not something that we are doing right now. But if we can unlock optimal conditions, also for temperature and humidity is something we'll have to address soon too. But if we can unlock research for these things, then it will kind of tell us when we research it, what the optimal conditions are for these things. We can improve our product maybe even sell it at a higher price or at least sell it at our price that they're willing to pay even though there's competition selling it lower if we have a great product they might buy it from us anyway right so that's something we will look into now when we water it you'll see this little number pop up it says 10 out of 15 that's our quality so theoretically with our chemical balance things being changed we should see higher quality out of it. So 10 out of 15 is our expected quality. This is where we are. You see this blue bar, right? The dark blue is where it would normally be. And then the light bar, it's actually much higher now, right? We, we moved it up. So see this one here? It's kind of all where it's expected to be. You can actually go ahead and get that one and replace it. Get that one, replace it. 
I would try a different potassium for the for the three, so it'll be faster to figure out what's the best. I don't think you can do that, can you? Can you do that? Oh, I guess you can. So when I hit this button, it applies it to all. Hey, that's good thinking there. Oh, I, I like you, Ricky. Good. You know what? Let's put this up to seven and see what happens. So this one is currently set to four. This one's currently set to seven. And this one's down to three. So let's see which one. We can tell the quality when we water it. That'll tell us. So, oh, damn it. This is a 10 out of 15. I want to water this one. I want to water it first. <clears throat> Hit it, water it. Okay, so this one's a nine out of 15. So this one's not as good as this one. So we know a seven's not really where we want to be. Let's try six on this one. Wildlife girl, thank you for the seven months. I appreciate that. How are you? Thank you very much. So right now these two are better quality than this one. I'm losing my voice now. What's going on? 9 out of 15. Okay, let's bring this one back down. Let's try 2 on this one. See what that does. Okay, so this is a 10 out of 15 as well. And this one is set at 4. This one is a 10 out of, uh, 10 out of 15 is set at 3. So it does like to be right around here, right? It, it does like to be lower. That's good. So far, anyway. Let's go one time speed. Trim it. Get this. Harvest. Go. You gotta time things. Uh, uh, uh. There we go. Nice. Maybe experiment with the ratios for Reggie too. That's a good idea. It's a good idea. It's a good idea. Maybe we'll go... Uh... Yeah, let's see. So maybe we'll go like four here, six here. Bring the potassium up to like eight. And we'll see what that does for this plant. I like you guys is thinking about this. You're like, hey, experiment with this stuff. I like it. Let's do it. Let's experiment. It's good. What? I clicked that. Oh, I clicked it. I know I did. Four out of 15. This one's five out of 15. So we did kind of, we kind of ruined it a little bit here. Um, maybe we'll head this up to six, bring this down to four, bring this down to three. Four. I mean, ideally, you would probably only want to do one at a time to see which one you're doing right, but I'm just going to kind of play with the values and see what happens. Ooh, this one was like, quality was dropping here for some reason. What's going on with you? Negative five out of 100. I haven't done anything to this one. Maybe I was just letting it sit there without water for too long. That's probably what it was. Because I'm talking to chat. <laughs> I'm going to blame them. I'm blaming chat. If I just go to one time speed the whole time, I'm pretty sure that will let me talk with chat. <laughs> At least a little bit. Oh, hit that perfect timing. I like it. I like it. I like it. Experiment with three variables at a time. Rips the scientific method. Okay, fine. 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 I held that one too long. Let's take a look. Okay. We'll experiment with one at a time. This is our base value. We'll go potassium down to three. Five is the base. So we have our, what do you call it? Our control, right? And then we'll bring the potassium up one on this one. So we got our, we got our, you know what? Let's go two. Let's go two on this one so we can really see the difference effect. So this one has five and five with three. This one has five and five with seven. And then our control has five and five and five, okay? Okay, are we doing things scientifically now or what? Okay. But I, I can only tell when I water it. So right now I can't, like I'm not watering these. So it looks to me like this one. Actually, I need to sell. Let's go back out and sell things. We gotta make money, okay? If we don't, uh, if we don't, if we don't sell, they might walk away. We got all this product. We gotta move it. Gotta move product. <laughs> so if you're if you're playing this game yourself, uh, yeah, I think experimentation is a really good idea. Having them different to see what what that does. But then also, 
Always water, then train, then water again. Because you get the two waters, bam, bam, that way. Customers want to buy the product. Let's trim this really quick. And then we'll go and sell some more stuff. Vagrants are buying a lot of Reggie. Quality is nothing special. So they're commenting that the lemon haze is good, but it's not really all that special, which makes sense. They're wanting rare. We only have uh, uncommon. At least that's what we're at right now. So, Is this almost done? Not really, but it's a waiting game, so let's speed up time. Okay, get the product. Replant. Product, product, product. Replant, replant. There we go. Let's grab, uh, see if we about, see about selling some more. You have some watering to do, so I'm gonna head back in. Almost. I didn't, I didn't miss the timing, which is good. Hit it. Yeah, this red here, it's, it's really getting hit hard. I think the, the levels we've adjusted are actually harming this. So maybe we bring potassium. What happens if I go potassium one on this? Let's see what that does. Cause we have, a, we have, we're getting hit by a one. Like this one doesn't have any red, but this one, these two do. I'm wondering what that's all about. So this one is a 10 out of 15. This one's a 10 out of 15. This one's an 11 out of 15, okay? So lower, lower potassium. But this one's a one. So maybe two is the magic number. Let's try two, see what that does. Customers wanna buy the product, come back out. Oh man, this is... I think there's still people there that want to buy it, but I want to make sure we're taking care of the plants here. 11 out of 15. Excellent. So this might be where we want to be. Let's um, let's bring this down to two. This might be the, this might be the balance. Let's apply this to all of them. Make sure that's all the same. 11 out of 15. Very nice. Okay. I think we figured it out. Science! You need better soil now. Correct. We still don't have access to better soil, so we're going to work on that later. When we have access to it, we'll work on that. Let's speed it up a little bit. I like it. Hey, good quality stuff comes to those who actually take the time to learn. <laughs> I never would have done that, too. Like I, did, I totally missed the idea of having them all individually like that. Very cool. Very clever. Well done. Because the game tells you to apply it to everything, you know? Okay, that's all the sales. Bring it back in. Wow. There's a lot of trimming to do. Let's make sure we're at one time speed. Awful lot of training here. Customers want to buy your product. I think we're probably going to want to expand here pretty quickly. Because we're starting to get good demand. And I'd like to grow more. We can start moving more volume before we start having to deal with competition. So I think that's what I want to do here. Um, let's expand. And we can start growing more. So hang on. Let's make sure this is good. Okay, so we want a new lamp. And we want to... This is the really profitable stuff, you know? So I think we, we grow more of this. But, I mean, Vagrants are still buying good amounts. I'm gonna, I'm gonna focus on, on this stuff. I think these are the good ones. We could also maybe invest in a new strain. We could do that. Or we could take our money and expand again. 6,000 more dollars? I think so. Let's expand again. Let's really, let's really ramp up. Ooh. Ooh, it's getting hot in here. Oh, right, bad conditions. All right, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. We don't wanna, we don't wanna go too fast. Can I sell it? 
We don't want to go too fast. That's a good... Uh, that's a good... Let's sell this. 77 degrees. Okay, so the more lamps we add, the hotter it gets. We need to have a, a way of cooling down the place. Okay, good, good. It is gonna... It is gonna manage me like that. Let's, um... Let's do one more Reggie. I think... I think... That's probably an okay idea. So we have our, our grow operations expanded, but we can't use the whole room because of temperatures. We have to focus on temperatures later. I guess these ones, you just hold it down until you sell it all. Making the grade. Sell 150 grams of super lemon haze. I think we're going to do that right now. We're getting pretty close to doing it anyway. I would say always keep one of each plant until you get the real good stuff. Oh, yeah. I mean, we don't have... I don't have the other strains yet. I didn't invest in the other strains yet. I'm just I'm just making one strain really... Or two strains really good. And then I can focus on the other strains later. That was the idea anyway. I, I don't know if that's really the best way to do it. I keep hitting one and two. To slow down time. I feel like... I'm not entirely sure why the developers chose to break from that convention. It's a pretty well accepted and understood convention. I didn't time this one. I didn't do the water first on that one. But it's it's kind of confusing me having to do Q to speed up time and A to slow it down. Too much there. There, there. They're not really timed real it's not timed really elegantly anymore. I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure these ones are. Oh, this is the last watering period for this. Never mind. Niall Grande, thank you for the prime sub. I appreciate it. Could have used that anywhere on Twitch. You chose to use it on me. Thank you. Helping me live the dream. can finally move out of my basement. <laughs> it's not my parents' basement, right? Okay, looks like I went too far that time. Damn. Okay, let's go sell it. I want to get to the point where we can actually hire a salesperson so I don't have to sit here and I don't have to go back and forth. Which, like, to be fair, going back and forth isn't that big of a deal. It is part of the game. But, right, it's part of it. Part of expanding your enterprise is... Well, expanding your enterprise. You, you have to... You want to expand how many people are working for you. Make sure these are at least watered. Jesus. If I was able to stay right here, I'd be able to time these better, you know? Harvest that. Redo. Damn it. Didn't do the water first. Do the water first on this one. Okay, so... I want to see where we are in qualities. Customers want to buy it. Back out we go. We gotta be getting close to selling enough for that milestone. 102 out of 150 is what we've sold. Okay. Fix your Reggie plant science. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going on with this? So which one is doing good? This was seven. This one is a three, and this one was fives all around, and then this one was fives all around as well. I can't tell which I can't tell which one's actually good or bad. This one's a three, so this one's this one's bad. So we need to probably bring this one down to let's say three and see what that does. Because this batch is bad. So part of the problem with experimentation, right, is that you're going to have some wasted product. But it's all for the the nature of figuring it out for later, right? So this is a 5 out of 15. Ooh. Ooh, is that the highest we've had for this so far? I think it is. Might be 3 might be where we want to go with that. Can I rebind the keys? Good question. Uh, not without going into some sort of, like, you know text file within the game no being able to rebind them would be kind of cool though 
I really wish, like, <clears throat> the time progression thing was one, two, and three. Like, it's just, it's such a standard right now that I, I can't break it in my head to, to do it differently. Making the grade. The marketing and distribution was good. Now the production, now the product matches it. People are starting to know your name. Is that a, is that a good thing? <laughs> well done. We get simple soil now. Excellent. New growing medium available. It can impact the plant's growth and the conditions in the grow room. Well, it happened. Sean and his boys are here. I heard they took over the marketplace pretty tight. Good thing we're prepared. How's the weed Clyde showed you? It's good, but you often can't get rid of a pesky rival through a good product alone. It might work on some lowly dealers, but Sean knows the game. Luckily for us, you do too. You got it, kid. Now listen, there are several ways of dealing with your competition. First one is upping your product in the eyes of your customers. Sell it cheaper, tend for it more, so its quality increases. You know the drill. Yeah, product and customer demand assessment. Sure, I studied that. Did you also learn about diversification of the product? That's right. People will buy from you rather than from the other guy if they can choose from a, from a variety of your strains in one place. Opening more distribution channels and having different batches helps out a lot. Each transaction you make will hurt the competition and it's not like Sean is the sharpest tool in the shed. But I put my faith in you guys and your weed. Great Canadian guy, how are you? Welcome in. Thanks, Bumps. We'll see how the guy handles some healthy competition. All right, so let's pause this really quick. Let's check out our competition, actually. Uh, you know what? Let's check back in with the other guys, see if we can make some friends, and then we'll talk to Sean. Sean is is right here. Sean Mikalski. But I want to talk to these other guys, too, see if we can make some friends. All right, so let's say we want to talk to this guy about... God, he, I don't really know what he wants to talk about, to be honest. Like, look at this guy. Let's go business, I guess. Do I look like a Wall Street investor? Okay, so he's, he's not really into business, which is weird. Let's just do small talk, see if we can learn anything about him at all. My advice to you, grow your stuff as cheaply as you can, get as cheaply as you can get away with, and then sell it as a premium product in rich areas. That's gonna be your golden goose. Interesting. Tell me anything about yourself. Nah, he, he just doesn't wanna talk to me. That sucks. Let's try education stuff. I don't know, a regular one? <laughs> What's your education? Uh, regular one? Okay, okay, fine. Uh, I don't think he'll probably talk about family. He doesn't seem like the kind of guy that will do that. This might not be a good answer, but for me... Oh, interesting! That actually worked. So we, he was we, it revealed that he was bullied in high school. That's probably why he got himself bulked up. Let's see if we can press them on that. High school bullies. Yeah, that's true. What can I say? He didn't really help us our relationship at all, but we did learn something about him, which is kind of cool. All right, let's see if we can get any better relationship with uh, Giselle. Back from having pizza, what did I miss? A whole lot of weed sales. You were at 5 out of 10 when they were all at 5 out of 10? Really? All right. Let's see. Let's talk about business, because I know you like that. You can press her on cannabis again, too, actually. So, should cannabis be marketed openly? Absolutely. People are finally talking about the pros and cons of cannabis. However, I'm afraid ads are inherently designed to outline the positives while hiding the negatives. Much like with opioids, to create a conscious society, we must... To create a conscious society, we have to talk about the whole spectrum of effects to be genuine and informative. Something ads rarely do. 101, never get high on your own supply. There you go. So since I remember I had an interest in business, what about you? Money overall is a great subject to talk about. I never understood people who had like the kind of taboo. So we're... She's a little easier to make friends with, right? She's a little bit... A little bit interesting. Um, do you enjoy your job? It's more stressful than people realize. It's really like building a house in the desert on quicksand with matchsticks in your own saliva. Yeah. Wait, what was your question? <laughs> Tell me about yourself. We're familiar now. I'm hoping, she, hoping she'll open up to me. Hoping she'll open up to me. Okay, Johnny, you're not going to believe this. 
She comes from a military family. Interesting. Can I press her on that a bit? People like to talk about themselves, right? If you can get them to talk about themselves, they'll generally like you more. It's kind of that... That's kind of psychology, man. Do you mind if I ask you about military family thing? You sparked some nice memories. Cool. We're even more familiar. We're almost friends with her. I like this. I kind of don't want to press it anymore. Maybe family. She's okay with it. Maybe. Let's go education one more time. Do you think the topic of marijuana should be brought up in schools? We once had our history teacher make a speech about cannabis. What a waste of time. Oh. Hmm. I don't think she'll talk about herself again. I don't want to ruin the relationship. I'm going to go for it, though. Any interesting news from Giselle County? I know I can trust you, but not now, okay? Okay, a little bit, a little bit too much press there. Um, I'm gonna back off. We almost made friends with her there, that was nice. Okay, let's talk to uh, Sean Mikulski here. This is our new competition in the marketplace. He's trying to, he's, he's up on our turf now. So let's see what's up with him. See if we can get in his head a bit. What's up, Sean? <laughs> Hope you don't mind some healthy competition in the market. We'll be rivals now. This is his territory, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Let's see what you think about business, buddy. How would legalization in Canada influence our own business? If we look closely, we can see how the market as a whole might react to countrywide legalization. I think there's a lot to learn from Canada. He's interested in business. There you go. See? What about education? Huh? What's your education? You mean my school or what I know? Because I strongly believe that a person can learn their whole life. For me, it's mostly online courses these days. Okay, cool. Education is important to him as well. That's nice. I'm not going to talk about his family. And maybe it's just me, but I feel like develop development-wise on the game standpoint, there's probably two good topics and one bad topic. So I got two good topics there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lay off that. Let's just do some general chat. See what happens. A little small talk, see if we can learn anything else. How'd you get in the weed business? If you're looking for some tearjerker of a story, I must disappoint you. I just jumped on the bad wagon a couple years back. I was lucky enough to find a sweet spot before the boom, so... I think I'm nice and settled for the foreseeable future. Cool. So he's liking me a little bit more. Since we're familiar, let me see if he's willing to tell me a little bit about himself. Maybe I can press him on a better issue. Any interesting news from your county oh, okay so he's not really interested in the small talk at the moment probably asked him too many things before that question so it's okay okay good new entries in the manual failure bankruptcy if you're not going to take care of your business sooner or later you'll meet your nemesis in the in the a nemesis in the person of a bailiff a few months of losses may be enough to end your entrepreneurial adventure. Taking out a loan might be a bit good way to get on track. I think I know all this stuff. Growing, growing, expanding, grow. We did that. We have to watch the temperatures and stuff, though. So, All right, let's see what we can do to maybe make our product a bit more competitive here. So the jocks still like ours number one. For now, I think this might change because his is rare and ours is uncommon. But if I lower my price just a little bit, I think we can get three stars and uh, they'll buy from us for sure. Because if we can have our stars higher than his, they'll buy. Now, these guys, these guys like his white fire more than our lemon haze. Even with a lowered price, they won't buy our lemon haze. So we might need something that caters to these guys a bit more. Vagrants. Doesn't look like they're buying anything. They're just, oh, they're not, we don't have Reggie in stock. That's why they're ignoring it. I'm gonna lower the price on Reggie just by like, yeah, it's, it's three point, like a three and a half stars right now. So I'm gonna go with seven and see what that does. So let's get into our grow room. Let's see if we can get some stuff in stock. That way we can tell a little bit more about what people think of the product and what they'll buy it for. Because we have to deal with competition now. So this is all five out of 15. You're saying it was five out of 15 before? 
I wonder if I can get it to adjust a bit more. Let's try two on this plant. See what that does for this. Regular Joes want to buy something from us. Super Lemon Haze just got cheaper. Nice. Okay. Some of them will buy it from us anyway. So let's see what they think of it. So it looks to me like... They're still really only interested in buying his stuff. We might want to look into getting a different... You might want to look into getting, um, one of these. Granddaddy purple, maybe? What kinds of stuff do these guys like? So these guys, ooh, I think they really like Granddaddy purple here. You get one star for being having things that are sweet. You know what? We could probably make sure the regular Joes are happy on a more permanent basis if we have Granddaddy purple. I think that's where we want to go with this. I'm going to buy this. We can also maybe dip it a little bit into cancer patients too. Help them out. Let's try this. So we have the strain. We own it now. At least as far as like producing it though. We're going to need to... Need, we need to figure out a way to, to manage our temperatures a bit better because... I can't get the optimal grow temperature at the moment. Let me see what uh, lowering the potassium did to this plant once it's once it pops. Again, Q and A is really confusing. Okay, so lowering the potassium was a bad thing there. Let's bring it back to... Uh, let's try four, see what that does. Mm, three was a good number. It was a higher, it was a higher rating. We're gonna leave it at three for now. So we need to grow three plants using better growing mediums. Right, we need to, we need the pots. We need the better the better soil. So when these things when these things pop, we're gonna change the soil out. Let me harvest first. And I want to get the soil changed out here. So we go simple soil with this. Perfect. Can we just do that right now without Does that mess up the Does it mess up the plant at all? It just instantly improves the grow. Whoa, cool. So you you don't even need to wait for the new the new plant. You just do it right away, and the effects are immediate. So right now this is here, in the blue bar, and then I go like this, and it's just it's just higher. Everything is higher. Can we afford? See, I can't afford it with everything. So this one is close to grown. Let's give the Reggie one pot. Ah, yeah, I can't do another pot, so we'll give this Reggie a little higher pot. Or higher soil quality. We'll go six. See what that does. Okay, now it looks to me like adding the new soil actually brought our heat up a little bit. Which makes sense when you look at this giving you more police vigilance. So growing with the simple soil, the poor soil has a zero, the simple soil has a three. Okay, so that's good. That's good to know. So when we grow with higher soil, it, it makes them more, it gives us more attention. Is it because we have a better product? So like it's getting more noticed maybe, I don't know. Is it even worth growing good Reggie? I think so, because you, you want to diversify, right? You want to appeal to new people. I wish I could study the optimal conditions here. Because, like, otherwise I lose an entire demographic. Vagrants, this right here popping up wanting from Vagrants. I mean, the Reggie's still a profitable product. And they're, they're paying good money for it. And nobody else will buy it, so... Like, there's a lot of vagrants that are willing to buy. Okay, so plants ready for harvest. Let's get back in here. Uh, this one. Nope, should have... Should have watered first. Damn. Okay, we have 1,500 bucks. I think we increased soil quality a little bit here, too. And then, uh, how about this one? Can we afford it? I think we can. 
Let's do it. Good. Regular Joes want to buy some stuff. Let's give them whatever they want to buy. 